Chef, how are you? How are you? Thank you so much for inviting us. Oh, thank you for uh, coming. I got to tell you something. This place is absolutely unbelievable. I absolutely love it. It's incredible. What a joy it must be for you to work here. Piece of paradise. I come every day to work in a small piece of paradise. Oh my God, Shandala. unbelievable. <laughs> and speaking of paradise, um, tell us what you got going on here because I'm gonna tell you something. Um, what they do here, folks, is just organic gourmet food. And, um, you know, I have tasted your food before, and it's absolutely incredible. You are amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. So tell us what we're going to be doing here, Chef. Well, today we're doing an eggplant caponata, my version of an eggplant caponata. Your version? My okay. version. Okay, so I'm thinking eggplant where you slice it thin and and you put uh, maybe uh, you saute it, maybe you put some marinara sauce on it, but you're going to be doing something different, right? A little different, yes, very okay. much different. What we did is we roasted some eggplants in a small dice. Yeah. We roasted them, we got some celery, garlic, crushed pepper, roasted red peppers, some dates, some vinegar, water, honey, instead of sugar, and salt and pepper. Wow. Very simple recipe. So, Chef, let's get right into this because I got to tell you something. I'm already salivating over what you're talking to me about. But this is in induction heating, correct? Correct. It's induction cooking. Cooking. And uh, it's a little different from what most people are used to. So, uh, tell us real quick about how you cook with this. Well, induction cooking works on magnets, and of course, you got to have stainless steel, cast iron, something that can pick up the magnet force. Um, it heats up right away. I mean, in five seconds, my pan is hot. Really? Yes. Wow. The first thing we do, we're going to heat up our pan. I like to work a little bit olive oil, not extra virgin olive oil. We're going to add some... Why? Uh, extra virgin olive oil, when it heats up to a certain point, you will raise up the smoking temperature, which is going to go too high. So it's smoking, burning, and decomposing. Right? Ah, okay. And sometimes it's bad for your system Good as well. point. Good point. Okay. So a little bit of celery. Mm. Now what temperature are you at? 1800? No, 1800 watts, 200. We're going to go all the way up. So 460. 460 degrees. Fair and right. you can already hear it. Yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it. We're going to do a little bit of garlic. And a little crushed red pepper to start. Oh, I love that, yeah. So it's almost like the base of all Italian. But the only yeah. thing I didn't do was add onions. So we're starting off with a little celery. Okay. And I like to add my roasted red pepper. Oh, right yeah. Away. Wow. Folks. You can't smell this, but it's absolutely unbelievable. That should and be we're only like a third of the way through it. This should be your next project, smell a vision smell a vision smell a vision we need that in our I lives. I think somebody came up with that, <laughs> but I'm not sure. Was that with the 3D glasses and all that? I think so. Okay, so now you've got some salt and pepper, and what is this? This is water, right? This is just water. So okay. what I like to do, once we get to this point, we're going to add a bit of vinegar to deglaze the pan. Oh, okay. And this is just a simple apple cider vinegar. A little diced dates. Oh. Some diced dates. This is where we're going to get most, a lot of that our sweetness. That is really different. I love that. That's oh, a yes. great idea. So, and once we reduce gonna... our vinegar a little bit, I like to add a little bit of water, a splash of water. Now, the water just gives you a little more, um, I guess, a little more sauce. Is that the reason for that? Uh, you get a little bit more sauce, but also control the acidity a little bit. Oh, okay. You don't want All so right. high acidity, okay. so I yeah. water it down a little bit. All right. And then we start adding our diced uh, roasted yeah. eggplant. Roasted eggplant, simple salt and pepper and olive oil in the oven. Directly from the organic garden. Directly from our organic garden. Oh my God, that really is starting to smell unbelievable, people. And this is easy. Like I tell everybody, all my patrons, students that I have, change it around. Play it into what you like. If you don't like celery, add onion. If you don't like onion, take away the crushed red pepper. Don't, Play around with it. Don't just stay stuck to one recipe. So, Chef, this is an appetizer. And Correct. How many people do you think this might serve? Right now, this can see as an appetizer, I can do about eight to ten people. Eight to ten people. Also, you can serve this for vegetarians. If you have an entree, served with black rice, white rice, anything you like, you can serve this at the side on the entree. Fantastic. And the piece. Ah. Our local beautiful honey as well. And this is a dark honey. I mean, I'm not. Uh, I really uh, used to seeing dark honey, but I, I tasted it earlier and it's unbelievable. It's so the reason good. I use the dark honey instead of the white because I want to get more molasses leaf flavor, yeah. you know, like a molasses background in the, in the end. Did you ever use black strap uh, molasses? I have. Yep. I actually have. A friend of mine uses that in a lot of things that she does. A little bit a little of salt. salt and pepper. A little bit of pepper. Everything now is, is this... Iodized salt or is this kosher salt? Kosher is salt. Kosher salt. Yes, sir. 
Do we use a pink Himalayan salt? We do, and we're starting to adapt it here at Shangri-La as well. Yeah, that's um, the only one salt that's got 84 minerals that we have in our body, believe it or not. Um, so I use it a lot in what we cook. But Oh, i got to tell you something, Chef. That is amazing. A little bit more water since I see it thick. Play it around. You see it start getting too thick? Yeah. Add a little bit more water. And this actually takes no time at all to make this thing happen with That's this it. induction heating. It's, it's, yes. it's, it's, a, it's very innovative. Right? Well, of course, it's probably been around forever. Right? Innovative to me, but <laughs> I like it. Great. Voila. Voila. As they say, <laughs> voila. <laughs> well, let's taste some, Chef. All right. Some silverware. And what is this, a uh, little pesto? What do you got going on What there? I did was I did a side of gramolata. That like it gives it a pop. So ah, it's just okay. parsley, olive oil, um, cilantro, and a little bit of orange segment. Ah, dynamite. Dynamite. Well, this is the big unveiling. I can't wait for it. This is the best part of the show, folks, is the sampling for the eating. <laughs> wow, look at that. Now, again, you can serve this with white rice, black rice, any of the sides, more mm. vegetables. You can serve it over pita bread. Dynamite. Or bread, bread, any kind of bread. Dynamite. And I love the plate, too, by the way. It's just so cool. So, you want to use some of this or not? Yes, of course. Yeah? Give it a little nice pop. You know, pesto is one of those things you can, you can make at home, put it in your freezer, and bring it out any time. We do a lot of that, and uh, it's just something I love doing. And it's just a, a nice way of preserving a lot of things that you, uh, you grow in your garden, you know, throughout the year. Oh, yes. Wow, look at that. Okay. Chef, let's jump in here. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. As they say in Deutsch, Essen. Gute Essen. Oh, my God. So a little bit of everything. You get the eggplant, you get a little bit of celery, you get a crunch, a little bit of spice, not too much. Chef, this is fabulous. Folks, Thank you very this much. This is fabulous. Chef Pyro, and we're here at the Shangri-La Resort Inn and Spa in Old Bonita, Florida. And I got to tell you, folks, you got to come here because this guy is amazing and he's going to go a long way. You really are. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you for being on the show. I appreciate it so much. You may want to go and visit my website. It's uh, www.betterhealthgreaterwealth.tv to learn more about Chef Pyro and to get the recipe for his eggplant caponata. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit. Executive chef of this amazing place, and he just made this incredible eggplant caponata. <laughs> no, 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 let's do that again. 